we're out here under the hood of my W123 again. Now recently it's developed a small diesel fuel leak from the number three delivery valve. So I'm gonna show you what you need to do to pull your delivery valves out and replace the copper crush washers that seal these delivery valves up. Now as a side effect, I also get to inspect my delivery valves because let's face it, these things are 40 years old or more at this point and unknown condition with questionable quality of diesel fuel at various stations and other contributing factors, it might not be a bad idea to just see how those delivery valves are faring after hundreds of thousands of miles and decades of use. So let's get in here, pop these delivery valves out and see how they're lasting. First step is remove all the hard lines. I've got this nifty socket that makes that breeze. Okay, now something important to mention, once you've got the hard lines off, these are your delivery valves. These other bolts, or nuts rather, on either side of the delivery valve, do not touch those. That is the actual pump element. Um, if you were to accidentally loosen these and this plate underneath were to pivot even slightly, it would throw off the fueling for that specific cylinder. All of those have to be balanced by a Bosch shop or some other injection shop that can put this on a test bench to balance the injector pump output across all five cylinders. So do not ever loosen these nuts unless you really, really know what you're doing and have an injection pump shop. Um, we're gonna be getting these 15 millimeter center things that are the delivery valve holders. These should be torqued to between 40 and 50 meters, and they are certainly snug. Ugh. I'm gonna go grab a magnet so that we can snag these two delivery valves out, and then we'll worry about our copper washers down at the bottom. Got a little pen magnet. Let's grab out cylinder two delivery valve, cylinder one delivery valve. Okay, so now let's see if we can snag these crush washers up out of here. There we go. There's number five, a little worse for wear, but looks okay down in there now. Let's cover this pump with a rag, just so that no dirt or anything can drop down into there while we're inspecting these um, delivery valves over in the shop. So I've already got my replacement ones in, but I can show you what a good delivery valve does versus what a bad delivery valve does. So first thing we wanna do is separate these into their components. So slide four of these off to the side and take a look at this one delivery valve. Now, this right here is the delivery valve. This is the delivery valve holder, which has a spring in it. And other than that, it is basically just a straight through tube its purpose is to hold the delivery valve in place. Thus its name, delivery valve holder. Now this delivery valve, this is, this is one that's, that's not good. This, these two halves, this part and this part, should slide apart easily. See this one will separate, but see how hard that is? That shouldn't take any pressure at all. Like that should basically slide together freely. So these two pieces 
are supposed to be a tight fit, but not so tight as where they can't move. It's meant to seal. The delivery valves that I put in, I can probably salvage a little bit of the footage from, is a newer design that has two ridges on it. And of those two ridges, you can see on my old delivery valve here how where the ridge is, it's slightly smaller than the rest of the delivery valve. The newer style ones are exactly the same, just with a ridge up higher as well. So they go in in the exact same orientation. Uh, these delivery valves are not delivering fuel in an effective way, so much so that <clears throat> I can't even get that to go back together now. That's a big problem for the smoothness and how well my car runs. So let's put the new delivery valves in. I've got a used set, came out of an engine that hasn't been run for a number of years. So we're going to put that set in and see if this less stuck set of delivery valves works any better than this very stuck set of delivery valves that we just pulled out. So let's go put those in and see how the car runs. Flush out anything now. Whatever the position of the camshaft is in there, we're getting fuel into these for. This one would be um, plungers already passed where it's, it's not filling anymore. But we're going to grab our new copper crush washers. I'm going to drop one of these down into each of these. Okay. Then I'm going to set each delivery valve down in there until I feel it seat. So I'm going to set my torque wrench to 45 Newton meters. The spec is between 40 and 50. So if I set it to 45, it will most certainly stop before we hit 50. And then let's torque these down. We got 47.3 in that one. That's right where we want it. Got fuel for a few of them. This one, set that down. Got two, looking good. Five, definitely has some fuel around it. Three, there's some. At this point, it'll probably start. All right, let's give it a try, see if we can get this to start.
We're going to let this run for a bit, check for leaks. Um, obviously, I'm going to have to do a lot of cleaning to get my engine bay clean after the uh, return lines went and then the delivery valve. I'm going to have to degrease this and wash this all out. We'll get to that later, though. Well, there you have it. Our delivery valve leak has been fixed. The car runs good. We'll see if changing those sticky delivery valves actually has an effect on power or the smoothness of how the car runs long term, because it's tough to tell, you know, placebo effect. You do a bunch of work to something and you immediately think, oh yeah, it's a hundred times better, but it's really hard to tell until you've actually got some time driving it and seeing how it performs in the real world. But with that being said, now you know how to fix a leaky delivery valve and what to look for in your delivery valves if you pull them out to inspect and make sure that they're not sticking like mine were. Now with that being said, if you've got an issue with your OM617 or similar diesel running rough and you've already done the other stuff that I've done in other videos such as the injector nozzles, fuel filters, things of that nature and have gone through and ensured that the rest of your fuel system is up to par, delivery valves may not be a bad thing to check out. So that's pretty much all we've got for you today though. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.